This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Welcome to the After Effects Quick Tip Video Tutorial. Today's Quick Tip Video, I'm gonna talk about how to remove the black background from your footage or your elements. Now there are a lot of ways to do this, a lot of ways that we've covered in the past in previous tutorials. I'm gonna cover a lot of those kind of common methods and then we'll talk about a new method that I've been using recently that's been giving me a lot better results, especially for stuff like this. This can be very, very helpful if you're trying to key out black backgrounds for stock elements or stock footage for your VFX shots or even motion graphics. Let's go ahead and get started here. So a lot of times you can get stock elements or stock footage like muzzle flashes and flares and stuff like that with already pre-keyed alpha. Um, but a lot of times they'll kind of come with black backgrounds like this. They'll kind of save on file size and they want you to change the blending mode to like screen or add or whatever composite it in. That works great for muzzle flashes and lens flares and stuff. But for stuff like this, a lot of times you'll kind of create these elements with a black background so that things kind of blend in together nicely. Um, because if you're just using a basic alpha channel, it looks kind of weird in a lot of certain cases. And then at the end, you want to go ahead and composite this into your shot but kind of maintain the data and the colors of your element right here. So a lot of people will go ahead and drag the element into the comp and if they want to composite this in, they're going to go ahead and change the blending mode from normal to either like screen or add. If I do that, I'm compositing it into a kind of a gray background right here. And as you can see, we really lose a lot of that data, a lot of that dark, nice, vibrant colors and the contrast of the elements kind of disappear. So by doing this, you're kind of blending the colors and using the screen or add blend mode. And so you really kind of lose the detail of your element and you're not exactly generating an alpha channel. You're removing the black background, yes. But if I go ahead and toggle the transparency here, you can see that we don't actually have any transparency and the colors just look kind of washed out. So when is this useful? This is more for stuff like lens flares or muzzle flashes where it looks pretty good with the blend or add screen mode. Therefore, more detailed, contrasty, transparent or glow elements like this, this is not the way in my opinion. Another common method people use is the extract effect. So if you go to the effects and presets panel, I'm gonna type in extract and it's under keying. We'll drag that into our layer right here and we can go ahead and increase the black point and you can see that we can kind of get rid of the black and kind of crush the black. Now, obviously the edges look a little bit sharp. So we have this black softness option here to kind of smooth everything out just a little bit. So we get some, some more detail and this kind of works here. We do retain our color compared to the screen or add blending mode. Um, but even with this extract method, we get some really weird edges that don't really look natural and you still lose some of that edge data with this method. This method is really, really good and simple for extracting and keying out very solid, simple objects. Think like trees against a blue sky or a box or food or things that kind of have like very defined edges and borders. Um, there's no kind of whiskey area like this. I wouldn't use this method to key out more fine, detailed whiskey stuff like smoke or let's say flames, for example. But that is one way to go. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that here. Now let's try a different method. This method is the one that I've been using for a very, very, very long time. And that's using the shift channels effect here under channels. And we'll go ahead and apply that. And a lot of times, if you have a very, very clear defined object or subject in the frame against a very, very simple black background, for example, um, you can easily do take alpha from, and we'll go to luminance. And that will attempt to key out the black background. It's also very good for keying out like mats, layer maps and stuff like that. So stuff like fractal noise this is a really cool way of doing it. And a lot of times people will use shift channels and they'll add a uh, remove color matting effect that will kind of get rid of some of the, the black weird edges. Sometimes this can be useful in certain scenarios. In this particular case, I can see it doesn't really give us the same effect. You know, you still lose a lot of the detail, a lot of the color. And the most important part is that it really, really changes the way the colors look. I mean, it looks very, very washed out. The colors look nothing like the original. Some people will go from luminance to, let's say, lightness, for example. Um, again, a little bit different. Um, but again, I think it really doesn't really attain the value consistently. Again, this will work for a lot of cases for a lot of things. But in this particular case, for very, very fine detail, very contrasty, very vibrant colors, this shift channels effect doesn't really work very well in a lot of cases. Now, the next method is a paid method, and it's using the Unmolt effect. Now, way back in the day, Red Giant released a free plugin for everyone to use called Unmolt. It came with a lot of their plugins and stuff like that, but they released it for free. Um, I believe now they discontinued it. It's part of their Red Giant universe effect under the utilities called Unmolt. So it's part of their um, universe suite. 
and it's no longer free, but they do have the old version still uploads to their websites. So you can download it, but it's not really supported anymore. And it may not even work in the most recent version of After Effects for all I know. Now, this is ideally the cleanest method because with a simple click and drop, you get a pretty accurate black key and the colors look the same and the glows are there, the details are there, the edges are there. So if I turn it on and off, you can really see the retained details from this plugin. Unfortunately, this is a paid plugin, so this is no good. Now, you can actually achieve very, very, very similar results with After Effects built-in tools using this new method that I kind of discovered on Creative Cal. So basically, I'm going to delete this. And with the first effect, we're going to apply a channel combiner. And we'll drag that into our layer here. I'm going to go to the From property drop down here and select the Max RGB. And then from the To property, I'm going to select the drop down and select Alpha. Make sure you don't select the Alpha only, but select just the Alpha here. And just like that, we get our nice little key. Things look a little bit off, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply the remove color matting effect. And just like that, we have pretty much the same exact result as before. Um, as you can see, we have all of our detail and the wisp and the edges look real, very clean. We don't get any weird black hazing and the colors look very accurate compared to what it was originally. So you can go ahead and save this effect stack as a preset. I'll probably link to one down below that I made. That way you can create a really, really nice, beautiful key and kind of retain the details. And in my opinion, this is kind of the best method to do if you have a lot of wispy or smoky or kind of glowy, transparent stuff like sparks or flames or clouds. Um, I think this is the most consistent way of doing it. And you can remove the black background that way. It's very, very cool. I also kind of made an example demonstration comparing the different methods here. So for example, this is the original here. Um, as you can see, a lot of detail. And if we go to the screen blending mode, kind of washed out, very useful for just muzzle flashes, um, lens flares, stuff like that. Um, if you go down to the extract method, again, a little bit better, more detail in the actual colors, um, but we get weird edges sometimes. This is more useful for like keying out trees, like I said, again, skies, more defined objects. Same with the shift channels. This can kind of give you some weird edges sometimes. This can really kind of change the colors a lot depending on what you're doing. Um, if you don't have a simple scene um, and then we're going to compare the channel combiner with the remove color matting versus the universe unmolt. As you can see, they look pretty similar in these two examples and looks very, very nice and vibrant um, compared to the original here. So, you know, just different ways to kind of key out black backgrounds. You can use any of these methods depending on your scenario. So there is no one best method out of them all. Um, they all have their different purposes depending on what you're doing. But if you're doing very, very wispy, glowy, transparent stuff, you may want to try the channel combiner with the remove color matting versus the extract method or the shift channels or screen blending mode to kind of generate your own alpha channels. And this can be kind of a useful tool to have in your arsenal. So before I go, I want to give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the one platform to create an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 25 hour support, and best of all, if you use promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the dojos. Check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the moment place to create an amazing website. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. If you found this method helpful, leave a comment down below and let me know. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.